Okay, this is uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan again. Uh, today we're going to try a little recipe I found. Uh, trying to eat a healthier, let's call it a hash brown, but it's going to be made out of uh, cauliflower. I'm going to add some ingredients on some of the stuff. I'll let you know what was in the original thing and not. So uh, it's pretty quick, pretty easy to put together. So without a further ado, let's get to it. Because I'm hungry. Okay, so as you can see, that's going to be a frying pan. I'm going to try to do these two ways. Uh, putting it in the oven, and because uh, that was the recommended thing, and I want, I want to just try to fry a couple of them and see what they do. Okay, i got some olive oil to do that. I'm only going to use a tablespoon or so of that's it. Uh, there's three cups right there of uh, cauliflower that I just took out of the microwave. Got to get rid of the moisture. Got one egg. Uh, Three quarters of a cup of cheese. I put a cheese mix in there. You can put just cheddar. I got some salt and pepper in that black container. I chopped up some bacon to put in there. Uh, I have uh, jalapeno, diced jalapeno peppers. The cup next to that has a salt and pepper mix of uh, one teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper and a quarter uh, and a half um, a teaspoon of garlic powder. It only called for a half a teaspoon, but I put a teaspoon. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to turn the oven on at 425. It said 400, but I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit, and let's get to it. Okay, this recipe goes together pretty quick. So uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to try to get out as much of the moisture as we can with the uh, cauliflower. Just like everything else I do lately, it's bringing out the vegetables. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna, I just put it on a paper towel. Penny's probably gonna shoot me, but what can I say? We're just gonna try to get all the moisture out so you just kind of roll it up. Okay? And then just go to squeezing, and it's already coming through the, through the towel, see? Mm. Just try to keep, you know, get as much as you can out. Jeez, oh, that stuff is still warm. Huh. I'm using the towel on the sink trying to push out some more. I think we're about there. I, I ain't doing no more. I'm done with that. Okay, so we got the bowl. We're going to try to get all of our nice cauliflower out of there. And one good thing when you're squeezing this together to get the moisture out. Uh, it, probably, it clumps together pretty good so you can get them, you know, not leaving too much behind in the towel. Okay, so that's your, you know, doesn't, not really that much, but that's your mixture there. See? <coughs> okay, so let me get my little bowl. And what I'm going to do, well, not that one small one so I can mix up my egg. But what I want to do is I want to take uh, my hop, my hopalinos. Like I said, that's about a teaspoon. I just did that for flavor like always. Put some salt and pepper. I'm just going to mix all this in here. Garlic powder. Cayenne pepper. Now if you don't want the cayenne pepper, or the, you know, you don't have to put any of the uh, jalapenos that, like the bacon, that's another extra. So I'm just going to put some of that in there. And we're going to put some cheese in there. 
and that's going to give us a little bit more bulk. And the final thing is the egg. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. We're going to mix the egg. And uh, pour that in there. Let me get a fork out here. All right. If you guys have been watching me, I'm just one of these guys that don't like to drop the egg into there just in case I want to mix it all the way through. Whammo. See, that's done. So what I'm going to do is use the same same fork and just mix all of this together. Then we're going to get some parchment paper. We're going to line the parchment paper on a cookie sheet and pop this into our oven. But I'm going to try to take two, make two patties, two little ones, and put them in the frying pan to see what they come out like. I'm just trying to get the as authentic of a crunch or something to these uh, what we're calling them. Um, Hash browns. You know, hash browns are crunchy. I've made enough stuff with the cauliflower that uh, I don't think they're really going to crisp up that much in the oven. So, and just like every time else, we're just going to form these out and uh, see how it goes, huh? All right. Let me get some uh, parchment paper in that. Hold on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, take a little dab will do you and put it on my parchment paper here. And we're just going to try to form out not too thick of a patty because it won't be really, it won't cook all the way through, I don't think. But you can make them any shape you want, round, oval. I'm trying to imitate a maybe a, like a McDonald's hash brown and I added the bacon I thought this would be nice you know you got a little cheesy flavor going on put some bacon in there put some jalapenos in there you could probably put onion in there if you want I'm just uh, not trying to go too too crazy but I want to try to get a couple of these I think you're supposed to get four to six out of the mixture so and you know these ain't going to spread that much so now let me finish mixing these up and uh, we'll get back to you all right Oop. okay as you see I got five little dumaflaches there and I got uh, uh, two more in my pan I'm going to put those in the frying pan right quick. I'm going to put these in the oven. Hold on. Okay, so I got, I just put some oil in here. Just a little bit, teaspoon maybe. Nah, a little more than a teaspoon. But I'm just trying to get this going, so. So I'm going to put my, my little ring doing flatchies in here. And I'm just going to plop one of these in there. And push it down until it fills in the ring. We're going to try these out. Let's see how they turn out. I didn't know if this would work. I'm giving it a shot, so we'll see. Tell you what, it smells good. But, we won't know until we mush everything down and get it together how these babies are going to stay together, huh? But I do hope they get a little crunchy this way. That's why I'm doing it. All right. So we'll check these out in a few minutes and see how they go. And uh, give you guys a couple minute break and we'll be back. As you can see, my uh, my patties are, well, my 
hash brown patties are firming up. They're browning up nice anyway. Uh, my other one's got about six minutes to go, so we'll be there. Okay, as you can see, they came out pretty good. These are the ones I put in the frying pan. They came apart, this one. And these, a nice golden brown color on this. Look at those. Those five came out nice. You can pick them up. See? They don't break. So, I don't know how hard they're going to be to taste. I mean, how they're going to be tasting like uh, hash brown. But we'll meet you at the taste test table and find out. Okay, so uh, here we are at the taste test table. And I think these things came out pretty good. Cauliflower hash browns. Uh, like I said, you can pick them up. I mean, like this one. This is what came out of the oven. It's nice. Uh, still has a little moisture on the bottom. And then this is the one that I fried in the frying pan. It's not as... Uh, together as the other one I'll say but here you go hmm kind of nice flavor the texture on the inside would almost make you believe it's uh, like potatoes or something but that's the one from the frying pan and I want to try it with a little of this it has a the nice flavor what I put in there the jalapenos and the rest of it but uh, yep yeah. okay so we're going to give this one a taste test here Almost in the way, but that's okay. All right. Mm. Believe it or not. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's better from the oven than it is out of the pan. I will say that. The texture is completely different. It stays together nicely. Around the edges, I just got a little bit of a crunch. I might have could have left it in there a little longer. Cooked it for 20 minutes. Then I flipped them over because every time you cook these in with parchment paper, they get a little moisture on the bottom. So I let it go in that a minute or two in the oven. Uh, but yeah, they taste great. So, well, that's when got a little crunch. Okay. So, I mainly made these for my daughter, Emma. It's uh, something keto and I hope she gives it a try because uh, I've been trying to do stuff for her but I one I tried everything just it was like a disaster so uh, I couldn't even film that one so but anyway without further ado let's play the game when you're out and about cover up protect yourself and others wash your hands a lot uh, don't talk with your mouth full and give us a like, because this is very good. You're going to like it, so give us a thumbs up. Uh, share with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And when you hit the subscribe button, the little bell will pop up, and that's a notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I pop up a new video. So, without further ado, this is Mr. Dan saying, stay hungry, my friends, and come back when you are, and we'll give you another delicious recipe. For right now, this is Mr. Dan, and we're out.